Hey, future AJ here. Um, Attack on Titan, part two of No Regrets. Uh, you're, you guys are about to see that. Uh, but this was recorded during uh, at the very end of Attack on Titan season one. So a couple months ago. So, of course, uh, some information I'm not going to know at that time. Uh, so bear that in mind. Uh, but seriously, thank you for watching. Check out uh, my Twitter at AJRich123, as well as the Patreon if you want to see these or the other OVAs that will be coming out very soon or all my other episodes at patreon.com slash AJRich123. You guys enjoy the show. <laughs> あんな近いのゴロツキどもと同じにされては部下たちの士気に関わります。Erwin has good judgment of character, so he's obviously doing this because he notices something. Oh, hey! <laughs> You're noticing some people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> やった。みんな忙しがってことか。俺もここがいい。保留されていた今期の壁外調査の予算が正式に認められた。そうですか。驚かないな。安堵していました。すでに準備を進めていましたか。やはり知っていたか。ああ、was that だから準備を進めるエルヴィン君は何か待っているエルヴィン・スミスが持っているある資料のおっしゃ。ロボフ、検定団へ物資を納品しているラング紹介という着眼。おっしゃ、ディスカップステップアヘッド。そして調査兵
月も星もないと夜も暗さは地下も地上も変わりない。Damn. They just want to, they've been in the underground for so long, they want to see other stuff, which makes sense. There's an actual sky. <laughs> but what happens to them if they. Uh, I don't think it can be anything. It can't be good. I don't remember ever seeing them in the show, so. Erwin and. Levi don't look that much. I mean, Levi looks a little bit younger, but it's really hard to tell ages in here. This show especially. Uh, yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we've seen how good these go. Uh, and this is the past one, so. Oh, man. God. Right away. There's a reason why he's one of the best, if the best, to fight these. <laughs> oh shit, of course. Well, he beat the first wave. Ah, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nakamatino Inochirimo, Mochimono no Setiako, Jewish Shiroto. I'm just waiting. We know, we know how this show goes, and this is the past. I'm just waiting for something bad to happen. God, Koreja Hagashkunato, Shingo, the Yakuni Tatana. Ah, Koreja Kyojinga to Mirazo. Oh, yeah. They can get jumped. They do that now? Isn't that like the worst time to do it? Yeah, I have a bad feeling. <laughs> Very bad feeling. Decision. Ah. Maybe he does the same thing when he says make your decision to um to Aaron in that past episode. Maybe that's why he says that to him, because Erwin said that to him. Eh? But he moved up to get to him and then everybody else is there were... Wait, he passed the Titan? Oh shit. Let me guess. Oh, what the f? What the f? God, what the hell? Oh. Yep, this one's not censored. This is this, uh, this is not Crunchyroll. This seems like a different freaking. This is a weird Titan. <gasps> okay, overkill. Slice and dice has a new meaning. <laughs> he got fucking pwned. He left him for what, a minute? He didn't leave him for very long at all. What? Oh, why does it show that? God, that's some of the nastiest stuff I think I've seen so far. In the... 
pretty epic. Jeez. I mean, anyone's going to be affected by that. That's... Ugh. So that's how he follows him. Well, now we know why he respects him and follows him. You know what's really funny? I still feel like we're missing information. Like, I just, I, I still feel like I don't know him, even though I do know, even though we saw like his journey there and him actually coming with comrades to them just brutally getting murdered. I mean, we know that like Titans attack them, they bite through. We've seen some crazy stuff, but maybe it's because this was like an OVA, not on Crunchyroll, and this is like 100% uncensored because like I mean, literally just showed the head. Like that's why it, that kind of me that took me kind of aback a little. It's like midnight, so I can't I couldn't like scream as loud as I probably wanted to, but I I was just like I I can't even believe like it's that's insane i i mean i'm wondering if this is like maybe the, the blu-ray versions have these this type of uncensored stuff you guys can let me know maybe i should like try to find the blu-ray versions instead of watching them on crunchyroll um because even though it's really hard to look at well actually for youtube probably not actually i probably should keep with that because it's better for youtube but it's still that it's still unsettling. I mean that head, that head, and that like, oh my god, they they got annihilated. Like he turned his head, like what for? Two, it seemed like two minutes. He went up to go find Irwin, and then he turns back, and they're dead. Doesn't even show them. They, they die off screen. Um, I was like, because I was wondering. I'm like, I've never seen these two before. He's never mentioned them, and it's not like they've focused a ton on levi it's not like we know any of his past or anything but yeah i mean now it makes sense they freaking died but uh he joined with them um yes yeah, it it makes you feel for him though because it kind of like when his comrades died this time when they come back with aaron and all his comrades died now it makes sense because you could tell he was feeling their deaths like his team because he had built this team his team he felt for them and uh it might have been like Kind of, maybe he hadn't felt like that since this past event here. Um, another thing that didn't really illustrate is how far in the past is this? Unless, let me know if I missed like a timestamp, but I did not notice um, like how long ago this was. Obviously, it's got to be at least a little bit, but it's really hard to tell. Erwin doesn't look that much younger, but that just might be how they're like Levi kind of does. You can tell he was a, a bit younger, but. It's I, I they didn't really specify. I don't know if I just missed it or not. Um, but wow, okay. It would, I now I see why you guys wanted me to react to this specifically because there is other OVAs. Um, and if there's another OVA that I can watch right now, I am gonna go into season two probably right after I record this. Um, but if there's another OVA that you guys know of that I could react to, let me know for sure. Let me know. Um, but yeah, cause this one was good and it was worth it. It was like, what, an hour long, um, only like 45 minutes. Uh, so it was just like, it, it was very good and very telling. And that's, and now we know Erwin's speeches are really epic. Not even in the, you know, not even just in the present, but in the past, he's has his command. And, um, though it did show like a very small flashback, like I noticed this of somebody dying, maybe somebody close to Erwin, but it showed Erwin seeing somebody dying when he was talking about, um, when he was talking about like decisions and past events and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's a very, very interesting episode. Um, unsettling to see a head spin or, you know, just like a head there, like the, the girl that freaking they like had been pretty much like just brought into their group. And then his best friend just dead like that. Yeah. It's, uh, that was that was harsh. Um, but it's not like they had it was pretty much the same amount of training as like Erwin or not Erwin, um Aaron and Mikasa and Armin had. It's pretty much the same amount. I mean, um, when it comes to like lie like that's their first time going out there. 
um, they actually had less training than them when it comes to like combat training. I mean, they combat, they did training for three years. So those guys were like pretty much newbies going in. Um, and I think that's why, um, why he was like, why Levi was so scared about it and was like, didn't really want them to come with him. Um, but anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this. Um, like I said, this is a Patreon exclusive. Um, uh, so I, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I really do appreciate you guys watching this. Feel free to follow on Twitch. Go follow the Twitter, AJRich123, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.